Hello out there everybody, Manny here at Area 503, and I hope you all have been well since our last video. Thank you all for joining me here today, where we're going to be taking a look at some recent UFO sightings from the Pacific Northwest. I have collected a series of sightings that I believe are all of the same UFO. I just want to take a look at these things and show them to you all and you can tell me what you think about them. The first sighting took place over Gladstone, Oregon in November 2019. Check out this orb UFO. The original footage is on the left. Now at first, this thing is really moving around. Just look at him go. I mean, this thing is just bobbing and weaving. Whoa! I know, man. It's stopping. I see it. Dude, it stopped! I heard you, bro. It stopped! I got it. <laughs> It dude stopped in midair. I don't know, man. What is that thing? Let's see if I can stop this and get a better look. Why, hello there, little buddy. Who are you? Whatever this thing is, it's either reflecting the moonlight or it's emitting light of its own, so we're not going to get a real good look at it. Son of a bitch. This is one of the frustrating characteristics of these orb UFOs when they're recorded at nighttime. It's almost impossible to get a clear shot of them. Just take a few seconds and study the way that this UFO is moving and what its characteristics are, and we're going to look at some different footage in a second. On January 11th over Gaston, Oregon, a whole family witnessed this UFO. Check it out. It looks awfully similar to the Gladstone UFO to me. It almost looks like an electric jellyfish. I don't know, what do you guys think? Also in January of 2019, this UFO was spotted over Kaiser, Oregon. Another orb or electric jellyfish UFO. What the hell is that thing? And again, in November of 2018, over St. Helens, the same UFO was spotted hovering over the town multiple nights in a row. Let's take a look at all four UFOs side by side. I had a whole long segment ready to go. I was fully prepared to defend my statement that I believe that these are the same UFO, but since a picture is worth a thousand words, I'm going to save my breath and just let you watch this clip. I think I'm going to start calling this little guy Tom, the UFO, named after a local icon named Tom Peterson, who used to run this late night advertisement. Wake up! Hey, wake up! Now while Tom Peterson was telling us to wake up and come down and buy a TV, Tom the UFO is telling us to wake up because it's becoming more and more clear every day that extraterrestrial life truly exists. So wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Anyhow, what do you all think about Tom the UFO? Do you think this is the same object spotted four times? Do you think it's a different object? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, links to the original source material for this video are in the description as well. Use those links if you want to go out and look at the original footage for yourself. Then, make up your own mind. I want to show you guys one more piece of unrelated footage that was shot over Brooks, Oregon in September 2019. Check out this crazy video. What is going on with these clouds over here? It looks
looks like something is dropping a flammable liquid that's been ignited. Or is it lightning striking some kind of aircraft? Or maybe they're flares, but the witness didn't see or hear any aircraft, so that's odd. I spent a few hours looking at different videos of military planes dropping countermeasure flares, and at first I didn't think there's any way that this could be a military jet dropping flares until I saw this piece of footage. Check this out. In this clip, the plane comes in low, and then it banks up sharply while dropping the flares. Now, if you imagine that the plane came back down and reversed his course and dropped more flares, that may very well be what we are seeing here. A military jet dropping flares in the clouds for some reason. Maybe it's a training exercise, or maybe the guy's just showboating. They do that. Breaking formation. I'm really leaning towards the flare explanation here, but I'm just not 100% sure. What do you guys think? While I was researching this video, I found this clip of another pilot. Check this animal out. This guy has got to be pulling some serious G's. This made me wonder, what kind of an effect does this have on the human body? Check out this clip of a Swedish pilot named Laszlo in the training centrifuge. Laszlo's pushing about 4.6 G's now. Are you doing okay in there, Laszlo? How's it feel? <laughs> Check out Laszlo pushing six, seven, eight, and then nine G's without passing out. Notice the strain this has on the human body. Laszlo has years of training, but it's still a challenge for him. Are you doing okay in there, Laszlo? Yeah. Laszlo, you're a f***ing beast, man. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I'm pretty sure I'd be like this guy, Tom. Relax, Tom. Just let it happen. I think I'd probably check out at about 3 or 4 G's too. <laughs> the reason that I bring this up is because I want you to keep this in mind the next time you see a UFO that's darting around extremely quickly. If there is a biological organism inside, human or not, the acceleration is going to have a significant impact on the body. And while that might not be a problem for a beast like Laszlo, yeah! <laughs> it is going to be a problem for the rest of us. Anyhow guys, that's all I have for now on the recent UFO sightings from around the Pacific Northwest. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503, and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth. <laughs>